Hi everyone. I'm going to make a video to show you how to use uh, Microsoft Word. This is Microsoft Word for Mac. Uh, I would assume Microsoft Word for PC is very similar. Uh, I don't know. But this is Microsoft Word 08. I looked and couldn't find a video on YouTube or a anything that actually told me how to do this. Uh, now the first thing I'm going to show you is how to make a table of contents and there are lots of videos that I found that show you how to make the table of contents. I'm just putting this in here for convenience for you. Uh, I really want to show you how to make it active or how to make it clickable to where it will go to where you want it to go. Uh, for a Kindle book, which is what I was doing, you need clickable table of contents uh, or hyperlinked or however you want to call it. Okay, I've just opened a document here. The first page is plain. That's where our table of contents is going to go. On the second page, I've put a little bit of information here, a chapter heading, chapter one. You can name them whatever you want to, of course. And this would be the text, and I only put a little bit of text in there. Okay. The first thing you do is, now there's different ways to do all of these things, of course, but the first way I do it, or the way I do it, is go up, open the toolbox. And I'm going to close that back up to show you. What you want to do is open styles. And your styles, you see these different heading sizes, I would say. Okay. I'll highlight chapter one. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make it heading two size because it's not... A major heading there's going to be several headings like that so we just made and you notice it changed the color there changed the look of it a little bit okay so we go down to chapter 2 do the same thing and what this is going to do the reason you're doing this is going to allow you to build a simple quick table of contents anything you highlight in Heading 1, 2, or 3 will appear in the table of contents. Now, of course, this is just a simple example. Uh, I go back up here and click where I want my table of contents to go. And I can do it a couple of different ways, or maybe more than that. You can go to Document Elements, Table of Contents here, Insert a Table of Contents. Or you can go down to where it says Index and Tables. And I'm going to go there for just a minute because this offers a little more than the other one does, at least as far as I could see. If I want to make a table of contents, I can pick any of these different styles. Uh, I always pick the simple because the simpler something is in uh, a Kindle book or going in to be uh, to upload a Kindle book, the better. Um, it says show numbers. These numbers over here, I can get rid of them here if I want to. And that's what I do for the Kindle books. Now I'm going to cancel this and go back and do it the other way to show you the other way. It's the same, virtually the same thing. Okay, click index again, or insert again, document elements, table of contents. I could have also done that right here. Okay, now here's the same heading styles. This one over here is the simple one, the same one that. I opened before, or started open before. And when I click that, you notice the table of contents came up. And we only have three, uh, three chapters and so forth. Okay, now everybody showed you something similar to what I just got through showing you. Uh, but I couldn't find anything to go ahead and to make a uh, clickable table of contents and I finally after looking at a lot of different videos figured it out myself um, I'm gonna go back to this page that says chapter one again I'm gonna highlight chapter one now this time I go up here to insert where it says insert bookmark this made perfect sense once I understood it uh, I don't want all of that in there I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. For this example. Okay. Now, I can 
name that anything I want to, but I'm just going to name it the same thing it is here because you want to be able to, to be sure you can identify which is which. So, chapter one. Now, I just made a mistake. The mistake I made is that I put a space in there. And since I put a space, nothing down here is available. But let's take the space back out. And now you notice it says I can add it. So I add that, and I just added a bookmark for chapter one. Let's go down and do the same thing for chapter two. Over here to insert. Uh, there is no shortcut like there is for hyperlink that I can find. Okay, I'm going to, again, bookmark it. Same thing comes up. All I have to do is type in here chapter two. No space again. Add it. And then I'm going to go down to chapter three and do the same thing. Insert, bookmark. You notice the other two that we have already made are in there. And this time I'm just going to do it this way. Chapter 3, add, and now I have all three chapters in my little bitty book uh, bookmarked. And like I, said, I think I may have already said this, but it made perfect sense once I finally figured out how to do it. Now we go back to the table of contents and highlight chapter 1. Uh, now, if I was going to use the numbering and so forth, by the way, the numbers are already interactive when you use the numbers. You notice here it says current document. The numbers automatically are interactive or clickable or whatever you want to call that. I don't know what's the proper term. But I want the chapter heading also to be. And so what I do is highlight that for chapter one or whichever one I want to start with. And there is a shortcut here, but I'll go the long way and show you. Go back to insert, go down to hyperlink. So here's the shortcut. It's a command K on the Mac. Um, click hyperlink. And this window comes up. Now in this window, all I have to do is go to locate. And another window comes up. And go to bookmarks, not headings, bookmarks. And since I've got chapter one over here, I want to click on chapter one there because that's where I want it to go to. I click OK. And what that's doing is telling it it's going to go to, when you click on this chapter, it's going to go to the bookmark, to the place you bookmarked. That's what made perfect sense once I understood it. OK, and then I just click OK there. And now that chapter uh, is bookmarked. It says there a bookmark not defined. Let's see if it works. Hmm. Yeah, it went to it. Okay, I don't know. I haven't had that happen. Uh, oh, it's probably because the numbers are in here. I've never used it with the numbers before. I apologize for that. But if you get the concept, maybe you'll be able to do this. Uh, maybe if I just highlight this part, We'll see what happens. Okay, this is my first time to do this kind of video, and I apologize. Um, okay, again, we go to Insert, go down to Hyperlink, go to Locate, go to Bookmarks, this time Chapter 2, OK, OK, and that's probably what it was because I had overridden the bookmark that was already there for the, the number bookmark, or the number hyperlink, excuse me. Okay, then we go to number, or chapter, chapter three. I like the chapter three, and this time I'm going to use a shortcut, which is command K on the Mac. It comes up, click that, bookmarks, chapter three, okay. Okay, and now we should have a clickable table of contents. And see, I click that, it goes to chapter one. Click here, and it goes to chapter two. And click here, and it should it goes to chapter three. Um, now, I hope that even though I messed up, I apologize for that. 
like I said, this is the first time I've ever done this type of video on uh, for YouTube, and I hope that it's clear enough. It's pretty simple, and I hope it's clear enough that you can figure out how to do it now. Uh, took me a long time, as I said, and I couldn't find anything that told me how to make it active like that. So, best wishes. Um, click the like button below, please, or make a comment if you have one. Thanks for listening.